Researchers and scientists have done a great job at unravelling some of the universe's biggest secrets. However, there have been some anomalies and signals that researchers haven't been able to explain. Space is one place that humans will never fully explore. Is anyone's guess as to what's out there and with it being home to over hundreds of billions of planets? It's not crazy to say there could be all walks of life inhabiting various planets. One recent discovery was made by the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft while orbiting the asteroid Bennu. It was announced on the 3rd of December 2018 that a NASA probe had completed its 1.2 billion mile or 2 billion kilometer journey to arrive at the asteroid Bennu. Researchers said the next goal of the probe was to begin a survey of the asteroid. The spacecraft would start flyovers of the asteroids north and south. The probe will get close to the asteroid as well. It's been announced it will fly around 4 miles above Bennu during each flyover. This asteroid isn't just a piece of rock floating in space. It's one of our solar system's most ancient relics. It's been floating in space for more than 4.5 billion years. Scientists have said this rocky body formed within 10 million years of our solar system's formation. Scientists have theorised that Bennu likely broke off from a much larger carbon-rich asteroid around 700 million to 2 billion years ago. Its original formation was likely in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. NASA researchers though have just said they've discovered something they didn't expect to. It turns out scientists were expecting Bennu to be made of sand, but instead it's made of rocks. The lander was programmed to pick up the sand-like substance, but it's caused a slight problem to the mission due to the terrain. The lander in question is around 20 feet in length and has the ability to travel over 19,000 miles an hour. With that being said though, this recent discovery doesn't mean the mission is over. Lead researchers have said the lander will be able to cope with the terrain. One of the scientists said the following. The extraordinary in-flight performance to date demonstrates that we'll be able to meet the challenges that the rugged surface of Bennu presents. That extraordinary performance encompasses not only the spacecraft and instruments, but also the team that continues to meet every challenge that Bennu throws at us. On the 18th of June 2019, NASA said the lander managed to get even closer and capture a photograph of the asteroid at only 0.4 miles away. NASA have also announced this asteroid could one day make contact with our planet. The space rock, which is 492 meters or 1,614 feet, has a 1 in 2,700 chance of impacting Earth. They said that Bennu will pass Earth at around 750,000 kilometers or 460,000 miles on the 23rd of September 2060. It's also been said that Bennu could potentially be mined for water in the future. Due to all the things that Bennu has got going for it, researchers have said that it's very likely more missions will be carried out here in the near future. Interestingly, during the most recent visit to Bennu by the Osiris Rex, one of the instruments on board managed to capture something that surprised researchers. Interestingly, this object was that of a black hole. The Rexis managed to capture a glimpse of a large black hole. The flare in question is said to have occurred around 30,000 light years away, and it could be seen as a distant flash. The mission wasn't there to discover new objects, but rather just to study the asteroid. However, the instruments were able to show researchers we really don't know what's out there in space. One of the researchers said the following about the discovery. We set out to train students how to build and operate space instruments. It turns out the greatest lesson is to be open to discovering the unexpected. Brandon Allen, a Harvard research scientist and student supervisor, was the first who spotted the source in the Rex's data, and went on to say the following. Our initial check showed no previously catalogued object in that position in space. It's fair to say that black holes are one of the most interesting objects in space, and it seems that every year we learn a little more about these mysterious giants. Another interesting discovery researchers have made is that of gravitational waves sent out from a black hole. Our universe holds a massive amount of galaxies along with an even more countless number of mysteries. Over the years, black holes have caused much speculation in the scientific community. 
though these findings have made scientists question the very nature of reality. These incredible discoveries of supermassive black holes have helped us to better understand the true nature of our universe. Recently, astrophysicists come forward and said that they've detected mysterious gravitational waves. It was then put forward that they were created by a black hole when it collided with a neutron star. The theory behind black holes is more than just shrouded in mystery, and it was not until a man by the recognisable name of Albert Einstein helped humanity to realise that space and time are interwoven, and connected in something we refer to as the fabric of space-time. The mathematical theory of mass then being able to stretch and distort this fabric, similar to that of a rock resting on a cloth led to an innovative idea. When the scientists picked up on the gravitational waves, they stated that it can allow them to study astronomical events occurring in the universe. The researchers said that what they were seeing was the merging of a black hole and a neutron star. At the moment, more study is needed. But if this can be confirmed, it's thought this could help us to confirm that black holes and neutron stars can coexist in binary systems. One of the researchers said the following about the event. It's like listening to somebody whisper a word in a busy cave. It can be difficult to make out the word or even be sure if someone whispered at all. What some people may not be aware of is how big these black holes are. For example, there's a black hole that's known as SDSSJ, and this black hole is so massive that it's more than 12 billion times the mass of our sun. Researchers began to wonder how could such a large singularity form if our universe is believed to be only 13 billion years old. Today, the black hole continues to be one of the largest, youngest black holes out in space, and it's believed to be even larger in nature if we were to visit it. It would be another 13 billion years before any information could catch up and show us its true size. This black hole, however, is incredibly far away. One light year is around 5.8 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers, so it's fair to say we won't be able to get near it anytime soon. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has detected a supermassive black hole that has made researchers question current theories of the universe. This new report states this black hole is approximately 250 million times heavier than our sun, and can be found at the center of the spiral galaxy NGC 3147 and is said to be over 140 million light years away from Earth. Incredibly, scientists have been able to observe a large accretion disk moving around the edge. What's confused scientists, however, is based on what we currently know about black holes. Such a disk shouldn't be found so close to a black hole of their size. One of the researchers said the following about the discovery. We thought this was the best candidate to confirm that below certain luminosities, the accretion disk doesn't exist anymore. What we saw was something completely unexpected. We found gas in motion producing features we can explain only as being produced by material rotating in a very thin disk, and that this disk is very close to the black hole. This discovery was published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Lead author Stefano Bianchi went on to say the following. The predictions of current models of gas dynamics in very faint active galaxies clearly failed. The disk will give scientists the opportunity to test Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. The collision between the black hole and the neutron star was picked up in August, and scientists observing gravitational waves may have reached a huge milestone. On the 14th of August 2019, giant detectors in the US and Italy picked up on gravitational waves and these were set off when a black hole and a neutron star collided around 900 million light years away. The researchers have seen a lot of merger of black holes and neutron stars, but never with each other. This could provide some insight to neutron stars which is made up of the densest matter in the cosmos. This observation was made by LIGO and Virgo near Pisa, Italy, which holds around 400 scientists. Gravitational waves are generated when really massive objects collide with each other. To measure these waves, scientists made and developed a huge L-shaped optical instrument called interferometers. Interferometers have arms that are several kilometers long. Gravitational waves were first detected in 2015, when LIGO researchers witnessed a collision between two massive black holes, which were dozens of times bigger than the Sun. 
black holes are purely made up of gravitational waves that are generated when a star collapses. In 2017, merger between two neutrons were detected. These were gigantic nuclei atom, left behind by the star that are too small to make a black hole. Now recently the merger between a black hole and a nuclei have been detected. A black hole shredding a neutron would reveal how stiff neutron matter is. It would be a great help in knowing the structure of neutron stars. Although theorists are not sure how frequent the merger between a black hole and a neutron star occurs or how they form, researchers show that they're more likely to form if traveling in a fixed path and colliding, rather than randomly wandering here and there and somehow finding each other. The recently new signal was particularly strong, and the detectors were able to pinpoint the location in the sky. This shows how much these detectors have improved and can work efficiently. As there is no optical counterpart present, the identification of the objects depends entirely on their masses, which the researchers find through gravitational waves. Many scientists have argued and are debating on the mass of a neutron. Many have agreed that a neutron cannot exceed the weight of 2.2 solar masses. If the astronomers are not able to find an optical counterpart, then LIGO and VIGO researchers have to rely on gravitational waves to determine the nature of the colliding objects. It's challenging but researchers are excited and are on the verge of a scientific breakthrough. As of right now, scientists are carrying out more tests. Scientists have said that there's unending discoveries waiting to be made out in the universe and every year we learn something new. Most of these discoveries aren't fully understood but the world's best scientists and researchers have done a great job so far at unraveling some of the universe's greatest discoveries. So what do you make of the recent discoveries made at Bennu? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.